Hi there. Hope everybody is doing well today. Today, I'd like to share with you some information on how to access electronic resources at Parma University or campus. Given the fact that you all are studying at home, it's the more important that you be able to access um, these electronic resources from your home directly. But before I share with you on how to use the VPN to do uh, to have the off-campus remote access, let me first take you to the Parami University website, from where you will have to uh, go and um, access the resources. First, go to the Parami University library page where you will see several tabs. And there is the home page where you will see the EBSCO discovery service search box. There is a library catalog which has a list of all the books, hard copy books and DVDs that we have. There is a tab on research for life. Again, I'll explain more about that later. There is a tab on electronic resources, which um, shows what journals and the databases that Parma University has for you. And there is a tab on remote access, which explains how you can um, um, be um, connected um, to the Parami public IP um, and to explain more fully on that. Uh, I have prepared a presentation, which I'm very happy to share today. So to have access to all of these uh, research articles or electronic databases, you must have what's called for the client VPN. So first, please go ahead and download for the client VPN at this website. And then you will have to be, you'll be taken to a series of steps to download and install your VPN. Again, install it and then go ahead and click I accept. And then here's the most important page. This is a one-time setup that you have to do Go ahead and put Parma University in the connection name box. Put in 59.153.88.14 in remote gateway box. Go ahead and put 10443 in customized port and make sure that you click prompt on login and save. Again, this is a one-time setup. Once you're done with that, you'll never have to fill this out again. And later you will just see this kind of page where you have to put in your username and password. Once you are connected to uh, Parami public IP, you'll be able to have access to all the Parami resources from the Parami University library webpage. Now, let me just go ahead and connect uh, on this laptop. I like to put my uh, for the client VPN right up here because it's very easy for me to do. Go ahead and click continue. Once it's connected, it will say right here. Now let's just go back and let me show you how to find uh, the electronic resources through two portals. As I said, there is EBSCO discovery service box. And then there is 
the research for life. And here, uh, you'll be able to find a lot of the resources that Parmi has acquired through the membership um, of Myanmar Academic Libraries Consortium, uh, through which we can get a lot of um, uh, resources and information and articles uh, uh, from many prestigious journals. Um, so just go ahead and add which whatever you want to find in the search box and it will take you to EBSCO uh, Discovery Service uh, search page uh, where uh, you will see a list of uh, articles relevant to the uh, to the topic that you search and you put in here. Let me just go ahead and put Shredagon Pagoda because that's what I'm interested in right now. So let me just go ahead and do that. It takes a while because um, the VPN connection slows down the internet uh, quite a bit, but don't worry, uh, it will show you a list of articles very soon. And there are 1,000, more than 1,700 pages or articles or items uh, that are relevant or uh, that have the name Shredagon in it. Um, let me just go ahead and click this uh, couple plaques of the Great Shredagon Pagoda because I'm interested in. It takes a bit, but please be patient. It will take you there. Here, I can just go ahead and click full text finder. And it says, find this article in full text from the project Muse. Let's just click that. And here it says access provided by Parami University. Now I can just go ahead and download this. And now that's one way to find uh, electronic resources and it's through EBSCO discovery service search box. And now I'd like to show you another way, um, another portal uh, through which you can find uh, research articles uh, and electronic resources, and that's through Research for Life. It is an amazing um, collaborative initiative uh, by many international organizations uh, such as w WHO, uh, where you can get um, articles ranging from humanities all the way to science, and and it's 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 a very uh, well-resourced uh, initiative and, and search engine. So to do that, let me just go ahead and uh, click Research for Life. And here I can just type in anything that I want to search. For example, I like to find malaria resistance evolution and click And it will take you to another page where there's a whole list of articles and resources on this topic. There are several, there are actually a lot. I mean, you can see that there are 20, more than 20,000 results related to malaria resistance evolution. So I, let's say I, I just wanna see uh, and read this article from Nature. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And here it says that you have full access to this article via Research for Life. Now I'm gonna go, go ahead and click that. Now that's another way to uh, 
find and um, download the research articles and electronic resources. And I hope that uh, you find the research for life being useful as well. Now, um, I hope that this video is very informative and very helpful to anyone who is studying at home, trying to find electronic resources at home. And uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, please feel free to contact us at tech support at parmi.edu.mm. If you don't have a VPN username and password, just go ahead and ask, send us an email uh, at the same email. And I hope that you find this video very useful and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.